Seagrass beds are crucial habitats as fish nurseries, but there's no place for fish to hide. There are no structures for them, and so they get eaten by predators. This bio-rock reef in a shallow seagrass in the Bahamas has attracted huge populations of fish that hide in here in the daytime and feed at night, and vice versa. It's made from a single sheet of fencing material that's been rolled up into a double spiral and it's been charged with six volts and about one amp, about six watts. And there are a few tiny fragments of corals. Corals couldn't grow in this habitat because it's too shallow and hot for them. And so there are very few naturally broken fragments of live coral that are washed in from storms. And we transplanted a few of them. And as you can see, they've grown quite magnificently. In addition, the seagrass inside this and around the structure is quite green and growing more tall. Seagrass beds worldwide are being wiped out, and they're, it's a huge ecological catastrophe. With BioRock, we believe we can help restore seagrasses and restore fisheries habitat of the species that rely on these habitats. We've done work with seagrasses in the Mediterranean, and we've found that we're able to grow seagrasses on bare rock where they normally couldn't grow with prolific root growth and attraction of fish and mussels and clams and a, a whole very complex ecosystem that built up around them. So we believe that BioRock is going to be a crucial method for restoring seagrass habitat and coastal fisheries in the future.